have for you today focuses on spring trends. And these are just some of the trends that I have noticed have really stood out to me. These are ones that I personally really like and I'm really looking forward to. And so hopefully there's one or maybe two or maybe all of them that you would enjoy and maybe want to incorporate into your wardrobe. So let's get started. And I have compiled a list and I have like 20 different trends written down um, and some I'm going to focus on a little bit more than others but let's dig in. First I'm going to start off with um, colors for this season and usually with spring we think of pastels and florals and pinks and that's exactly what is going to be on trend for this year. Oranges, corally shade, pinks, these kind of shades are going to be like the it colors of the season in New York Fashion Week. The main colors in a lot of the collections for the spring were orange and pink. And so definitely stock up on those colors for this season. So here are just some floral examples for spring. A cute tank top that you could layer with so many different things. A denim jacket, a cardigan. Um, or even a motorcycle jacket to edge it up a little bit, maybe for the colder nights. Or um, here's a cardigan option. So floral prints can come in so many different things. Another print that is really in this season is check. And this is not necessarily meaning you have to do just the buffalo plaid. Um, this is just what I have had, but they come in a array of colors. This is like your classic gingham check, but pretty much... Um, it's, it's a tighter print than plaid, uh, maybe conserved down to it, just a few colors, um, but check is definitely one of the it patterns for the season. Another color combo that has taken full storm through fall and winter is now making a comeback for spring, and you guessed it, it's black and white. Uh -huh. Such a surprise, right? So black and white are huge. Whether you want to do it, um, in a shirt like this where the black and the white are together or you know just a plain basic white tee maybe wearing it with some black leather leggings or put a black blazer over it with some cute jeans that um, that can rock the trend as well because you are color blocking or go for a top that's striped I just have two options here that are black and white stripes because can't go wrong with that the trend that I'm really loving is fun prints and these are just kind of, it's funny, they're actually the same color palette. Um, I must be drawn to this, but, you know, this is a play on leopard, just in some fun colors. And then this is kind of a quirky top with um, little foxes. So go for something maybe a little out of the box. Go for a print that is a little different or maybe a little, like, Obviously, leopards are not orange and navy, but this is a fun play on that print. So look for things in fun colors. Another trend that I'm really loving for spring is like detailing, like appliques and lace, uh, just really dainty and feminine. This top I really love because of the eyelet detailing along the collar. This is a Peter Pan collar. It's a little more feminine, a little more youthful. Um, and then the applique down the center. This is just something that you can really dress up or wear casually. And this sweater I've had for a while and I considered getting rid of it. But when I heard that the applique like 3D detailing is coming back, I thought, oh, I could wear this for another season. Easily pair it with like a floral um, tank top or add it with another pattern such as like my gingham top underneath and then you're rocking two trends without it being overbearing. Um, so this just has that detailing. This tank top has the like lace texture. That's another thing. Look for like appliques, texture, depth, things that can add dimension to your outfit instead of just being flat. And then this cardigan also has lace on this whole front paneling on both sides is lace. So that's just another fun detail. All right, the biggest it color of like spring and summer is blush. And this first I think was making, making an appearance in January. Um, this is a very, very pale, pale pink. And this is kind of the opposite end of the spectrum of the blush shades. Um, being a little bit more of a pinky coral. Um, so anywhere in between these colors is going to be amazing. 
blush is the it color buy it in anything you can because you are going to love it and it pairs almost as a neutral you can go head to toe blush and it will be flawless on any skin tone everybody can pull it off um, it's fun to mix shades of blush and it's also fun to do all solid the same shade um, we were seeing the monochromatic look last year with a lot of bloggers and myself included rocking head to toe outfits in one color whether they had a pattern or some kind of texture um, but by mixing the depths of the blush that will really be beautiful another trend that you're going to be seeing in spring is graphic tees whether they say a funny saying or have a logo these are going to be it um, so chic happens genius is born not paid and the Beatles. To go along with graphic tees, I got these from the boys section and they are more casual, a bit looser fit, and I just love them. So we've got Batman and the Autobots from Transformers and then Flash. So uh, this is just my personal style. I like wearing shirts like this. They're fun to wear with heels and cute boyfriend jeans, um, with some fun earrings, uh, with your hair in a messy bun or with your hair straight. You could rock them with a skirt, with booties. Like They really are such a fun thing because they don't look too stuffy. So that's why I really like t-shirts. So if some of these looks are a little too bold and you want to try some color or pattern, maybe in a smaller dose, try it in like accessories. Like here I have these cute little hair ties um, in the blush pink or in a stripe or a metallic or like these fun flirty little patterns. If you're not used to wearing it like full throttle in a top or a skirt or a dress, try it in like a smaller dose just to add a little bit more flair to an outfit. It really is a lot of fun to amp up your accessories and make them like a statement too. So it colors for the season for nail polishes are dun -dun -dun -dun, pastels. Woo! Of course, just to go along with our clothing, pale blues, mints, blush pink, and more of like a apricot, like yogurty color. So shoe trends are kind of a little exciting for this season. Um, we go from two different completely opposite ends of the spectrum. So the first being ladylike. Get heels with feminine details such as bows, ribbons, more glitzy glamour, but still simple. You want it to be simple. Um, clean silhouettes. These are really beautiful. Sneaker wedges. Anything that rocks a little bit more of a sporty vibe is going to be a lot of fun and super on trend. Try mixing it up a little bit though and wearing it with like crop leggings or you know, like a leather, like pencil skirt, like something that's a little bit less expected um, will add a lot of fun pop to shoes like this. And then I have seen so many people rock this look and I actually do not own Converse. I personally don't really like Converse. Ooh, is that bad to say? I prefer Vans. And so I have some Vans, um, I have these blue and then I also have like a reddish coral and then um, like navy and some other colors. So something like this is a lot of fun to throw on instead of a flat. Shoes like this are a lot of fun because they are just so easy to wear. Like throw it on with, you know, one of your graphic tees or maybe you have like um, a cute like floral pair of pants. Throw on a bright colored pair of shoes and it just completes your outfit and gives it a little bit more spunk. Another hot trend this season is rose gold, and we have seen this, I think, for like the past three years. Rose gold has been starting to come in, um, but now it's full throttle. So here I have a rose gold watch, here's a rose gold necklace, and you can see they're different tones. This is a little bit more like copper, and this is more gold based. Um, any range of rose gold is going to be right on trends. Um, here are some cute earrings. Like if you don't want to invest in a rose gold watch, if maybe it's not quite your style, maybe you're more silver, try some earrings. You can find them so inexpensive at so many places. Try Target or Kohl's. Um, this is the LC Lauren Conrad collection at Kohl's. She's got great style and great taste. She has a lot of things that would be on trend, but are also very affordable. 
This is an, a nail polish by Essie called A Cut Above. And this is more like pink based glitter, but they do offer more rose gold tones, but this is still is in that family. And of course, if you've been watching me, you know I absolutely love my Naked 3 palette. And this palette is a rose gold based shadow palette. Um, it's a little bit more mauve toned, but that is so great because it goes along with the color blush for this season. I hope that this video was helpful, and I also hope that you will check back to my blog, stripesinbloom.com. I will have outfit posts of me wearing some of these items. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, leave down below in the comments what trend you're going to be trying this year. Let me know. I would love to hear about it. If you have a favorite store or a favorite article of clothing that you want to share or maybe there's a trend that I didn't mention that you love and are really excited to try this year, let me know and leave it down below. Here's my pookie. Oh, she's pretty. Isn't she pretty? She's the cutest doggie I ever saw. Huh, baby? Huh, baby? I love her. Mm. I always want to say casualizes. Okay. Blah. Blah. Ah. Casualer. Jeez. In feminine. This top has the Peter Pan collar in an eyelet. Kind of, um, fat. Well, not fabric. Blah. Spring is for floral. Um, blah. <laughs>